All right, I'm just gonna do a quick video to show a security flaw with the iPhone. I have an iPhone 5. I'm sure it would work on any iPhone. But um, the flaw is, typically when you plug in your iPhone into your computer, if you're running Windows or Mac, it'll come up and on your iPhone it'll ask you if you trust the computer or not. And then you have to type in your security code if you have one. And then you have to go in and hit yes or no and then if you hit yes it will mount your device so this is just a security measure to keep people from doing basically what I'm what I'm gonna do here in a minute where they can just plug into your phone and they can just get all your files off of it without needing a password or anything with the screen locked on the phone so the issue comes down to with Linux it doesn't have this program and you can just mount the, the phone like any other device without the, and essentially bypass uh, the lock. So to demonstrate this I'm going to plug in my iPhone 5. And you'll see right here that it will automatically mount it. So right now I'm, you're looking at the storage on the phone and um, see like if I wanted to see the pictures which is what most people would be interested in uh, you click into here, go to your Apple folder, I have two because I have so many pictures, but go into your Apple folder, your photo folder, and just like that, all your pictures are right there. So anyone can do this that has a Linux distro, and Linux is free, this is Ubuntu. And um, so it's like, say for example, if this is a picture, or this one, on your phone that you didn't want the world to see, because you're making a... A really bad duck face in it or something or worse um, this is the other issue I wanted to bring up too so what there's these apps out there where you can create like a secret hidden folder or a password protected folder so basically what you would do say like your app it will take it your picture out of this main photo folder so that way when someone's scrolling through your phone they won't see it so essentially if I cut this out just like this. I'm just going to set it somewhere temporarily. What this will do is in effect the same thing that one of those programs will do. Assuming that where I put it was a more secure place. So you go back into here and now that picture's gone. Kinda. They want you to think it's gone but what I found out today if you go back to your root directory you see it's not here anymore. It was image 2 if you go back to your root directory, all your pictures have some accompanying data with them and they keep it under these folders. And if you look at this photo streams data into this random folder, look what folder this is. It's a copy of that other folder, except this folder has every single picture in it, regardless if you've deleted it or moved it. So if I go into here, you will see here in a second once it loads there's image 2 the one that I thought I had moved so basically you can understand that if there was some confidential stuff on here you know uh, it's not quite as secure as you thought it was so yeah be safe and now you know